Welcome back, boys and girls. Thanks for joining me again, me and all my friends, on another Oak the Moon Bedtime Stories. And tonight's story is about a little fire truck who just helped rescue his friends, but his friends got a little jealous. Has that ever happened to you? Sometimes it's not good. Sometimes they may mistreat you, but they have to get to know you. And this is about such story where they got to know him and found out he's a little good guy after all. The name of the story is The Fire House Tales New Truck on the Block. Let me tell you about the day Red came to our town, Green Meadows. Life was sunny, the sky was blue, the birds were singing. Down at fire truck school, Chief was teaching Patrol and Krabby how to tow cables. Pretend I'm trapped, Chief said. Use your tow cables to lasso me. Patrol was too nervous. He looped his whole hose in a tree and Krabby managed to wrap his hose around himself, but no one rescued the Chief. On the other side of Green Meadows, a brand new little fire truck named Red saw a big fire burning. He didn't know that it was just a practice fire. Woo woo, here I come, Red whistled loudly. Excuse me, in a hurry. Red raced along, but he took one turn too fast. Red almost knocked Bubba the bulldozer off the road. Where's the fire, son, Bubba asked, shaking some dirt off his windshield. I don't know, Red said, but as soon as I find it, I'm gonna put it out. Red turned on his flashing lights. The sirens say help is on the way, he said as he continued down the mountain. Red arrived at the fire truck school and tossed out his tow cable, rescuing Chief. Nice work, son, Chief said. What's your name? They call me Red. I wanna learn to be the best fire truck I can be. Chief smiled. Welcome to the firehouse, Red, he said. Tech the mechanic showed Red to his new parking place. Red was so happy to see his new room, but Patrol and Krabby were not happy. He made us look bad in front of the chief, Patrol said to Krabby. I think he's a big show off, Krabby agreed. From inside the garage, Red heard what other trucks said. It made him very sad. Red hadn't meant to make anyone look bad. He was just trying his best. Red rushed off to find Patrolli and Krabby to tell them what had happened. But as Red drove, he went way too fast and he wasn't watching the road. Screech! Somebody help me, Red cried. Patrol and Krabby heard Red's cries. They zoomed up the mountain and saw Red hanging off the side of the road. We'd better get Chief, Patrol said. There isn't enough time, Red cried. Use your tow cables to rescue me. No way, said Krabby. Every time I try to wrestle something, I lasso me. Not every time, Patrol said. Once you lassoed me. Red slipped down the mountain a little more. Time was running out. You both can do it, Red cried. Just give it your best. Krabby and Patrol threw out their tow lines. Unfortunately, the cables got all tangled up. Not again, yelled Krabby. He sounded worried. But Red wasn't worried at all. He attached his hook to the tangled cables. Krabby and Patrol pulled hard. In no time, Red was safe again. Hot stuff, Red cried, thanks. Just then, Chief drove up, looking concerned. What happened here, he asked the trucks. I went over the cliff, but Krabby and Patrol saved me, Red said, smiling. We did, Krabby and Patrol asked. Yes, you did, Red replied. Nice work, boys. You're learning, Chief said. Hey, we worked as a team, Patrol said. We should do that again, Krabby added. Red laughed, but next time, let's do it without me driving off the cliff. <laughs> the end. I like that story. See, Red was new in town, and the others just had to get to know him. Sometimes people feel a little uncomfortable when somebody new comes. 
But if they just get to know them, they may find out that they'll be good friends. Thanks for joining me. And thanks to Mia, Buzz, and Layla for letting me read the book. Bye-bye <laughs> and good night.